um, distinct Uh, distinct um, quadratic factors. Remember, case four would be the repeated quadratic factors. So in this case, uh, the denominator Q of X has terms of the form um, ax squared plus bx plus c. Actually, it's factors in this case. Okay, um, the uh, decomposition has terms of the form a x plus b over a x squared plus bx plus c. And you need to see what I'm writing because I say a, but the a in the numerator is uppercase and the a in the denominator is the lowercase. So if you just listen without seeing it, it can be pretty confusing. Give you an example. If we need to decompose something like x over uh, x minus 2 times x squared plus 1 times x squared plus 4. Okay. Notice that x squared plus 1 is what we call a prime quadratic. It cannot be factor. So is x squared plus 4. So we have a linear quadratic quadratic, so we're going to break it down into a1 um, over x minus 2, you're going to break it down into a2 ax plus b2 over x squared plus 1, and then a3 x plus b3 over x squared plus 4. This will be the decomposition. So example five, where we need to evaluate the following, the integral, the numerator is 2x squared minus 6 plus 4, and the denominator is x cubed plus 4x. Okay, this is a proper rational fun function. The denominator, the degree of the denominator is two. The degree of the number, the I'm sorry, the degree of the numerator is two, is two. The degree of the denominator is three. So we don't have to do long division, and uh, we can go right away into the partial fraction decomposition. And we're going to say that two x squared minus x plus four. I'm going to factor the x out of the denominator and I have x squared plus 4. So I have a linear and I have a quadratic. So I'll break it down as <coughs> uh, a1 over x plus a2x plus b2 over x squared plus 4. 
Okay. And now we need to come up with values for A1, A2, and B2. Again, we multiply by the uh, least common denominator, and we have the following. On the left, we have the numerator, which is 2x squared minus x plus 4. Okay. On the right, we multiply a1 by x squared plus 4 and a2 x plus b2 by x. And we clear the parentheses and we see what multiply x squared. Well, I have a1 and I have a2, so we have a1 plus a2 multiplying x squared. What multiply x? Well, only b2. And one multiply the uh, uh, three coefficient, only a1. So we have 4a1. And now we compare coefficient. So as we did before, we have x squared, we have x, and we have 1. Um, the coefficient of x squared on the left is 2, on the right is a1 plus a2. The coefficient of x is on the left is negative 1, and on the right is b2. And the coefficient of 1 on the left is 4, and on the right is 4a1. So right away we get that a1 equals 1, and if a1 equals 1, then 2 equals 1 plus a2, and therefore a2 is also 1, and b2, we get it directly as negative 1. So in, in no time we solve uh, the coefficients, uh, we have 1, 1 and negative 1. So therefore, now we can write the integral as following. Okay, so what do we have here? Um, the decomposition was a1 over x, right? So we have the integral of uh, 1 over x, and the other decomposition was um, x squared plus 4, and we have x minus 1, like so. Okay? Now the fun begins. We need to calculate that. I'm going to break down this integral into three separate integrals. We have uh, the integral of 1 over x dx. This uh, x minus 1 divided by x squared plus 4, I can break it down as x over x squared plus 4 and negative 1 over x squared, x squared plus 4. So I'll do it so the next integral will be uh, x dx over x squared plus 4 and then I'll subtract and I have the integral of uh, dx over x squared plus 4. Now the first two integrals are easy. Let's do the first integral. Did I use the term i? No. So the first integral i1 will be simply the integral of 1 over x dx. Well, that will be the natural log of x plus, let's say, c1. 
the static second integral i2 x dx over x squared plus 4. Here we can do a little u substitution, right? Um, for instance, I'll, let, I'll write it in red below. I'll let x squared plus 4 equals u. So du equals 2x dx, and therefore x dx equals 1 half du. And now we are looking at 1 half du over u. Well, the result will be 1 half natural log of u. But u is x squared plus 4, so we have 1 half natural log of x squared plus 4. And I was about to put absolute value, but no need to, because x, plus, x squared plus 4 can never be negative. Okay. So, what about the third integral, I3? I3, we need to subtract it, but uh, I3, I'll call it as dx over x squared plus 4. Here, I need to do some couple of tricks here. First of all, I'm going to write it as, uh, I'm going to factor 1 fourth out. The reason become clear in a few seconds. Okay, so I have x squared over 4 plus 1. Okay, now I'll change it slightly and to write dx over, instead of x squared plus 4, I'll put x over 2 squared plus 1. Do you recognize the result, or do I need to do one more step here? I'm sorry, one more step. Okay. Let u equals x over 2 and du equals uh, 1 half dx, right? Or dx equals 2 du. I3 now will be one fourth integral instead of dx I have two du and here I have u squared plus one. What is this? What is the integral of one over u squared plus one? It's in the list of twenty the most important integrals that they need to re remember, to memorize. I'm sorry? But only 20. Yes, only 20. Well, one of them is the integral of x. Ah. One of them is the integral of 1 over x. Mm. Sine, cosine. This is the arc tangent. The result, the antiderivative is the arctangent. And u is x over 2, remember? So Okay, so our integral now, we, we have all the component and we are ready to put it together. So we're going to say that the integral of um, 2x squared plus, minus 6 plus 4 over x cubed plus 4x 
dx equals to what? Okay, we have i1 is simply the natural log of x. The second integral is one half the natural log of x squared plus four. And the last integral we subtract, the last integral is one half arc tangent of x over two and then we combine C1, C2, C3 to get the solution. Okay. So how do you feel about this integral?